Hey Capricorn, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you a bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And let's see what the universe has for you. Amazing Capricorn. Ooh, trigger. The trigger of Sagittarius. So you receive some sort of message and it triggered you where now you are worried, stressed, or anxious. You have a lot on your mind. You're trying to think about all the different possibilities. I feel like you just need to move. You just need to kind of get up and meet whatever this situation is heads on, head on. Because with that Nine of Swords, it almost kind of feels like the longer you stay inactive um, is the longer that you will feel stress, worried, uh, and anxious, and also overwhelmed is what I'm hearing. Two of Swords. This is weird because I just heard maybe somebody who blocked you or you have blocked. You just got wind that this person. Okay, one or two storylines. This person could have met someone else and is now happy. Or um, you could have gotten notification that this person is still in love with you. And now you're kind of mucked up because you don't know what to do. Here's secrecy, right? Secret conversations, secret communications. Somebody's curious about what the whole truth is in this situation. Yeah, this, this to me kind of feels like somebody you're missing. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. I look at that as mother and son. Um, there could be an age difference here. Um, I do kind of feel like uh, there you're receiving a bunch of messages to reach out, to move forward, to contact this person, to have this conversation. But you know, you could be at just a bit of a stalemate, two of swords, two of wands, not necessarily sure what direction and or what approach you want to take towards this new conversation or new beginning. I also feel like over here we have the nine of swords, nine of cups and nine of pentacles, but nine of swords it's, it kind of feels like you want to get your thoughts together. You want to get yourself together before having this conversation. I do feel like there is information that you are holding on to, holding back, or you're curious about. You have questions that need answers. Or it could be, you know, now I kind of feel like it's your curiosity about whomever this Queen of Wands is. That's Aries specifically. Um, here is Pisces and Cancer. That's Gemini. This is Sag and that's Sag. So I kind of, and this, yeah, and there's Gemini. So I kind of feel like you're curious about this Queen of Wands, regardless of sign or regardless of gender. I kind of feel like you want to have a conversation with this person. I feel like the universe is prompting you to have a conversation with this person. I do kind of feel like there are still active emotions. There's still active attraction. And I kind of feel like, you know, here's the, the kerfuffle. You're trying to figure out, you know, does this person still want me? Am I still the object of their desire? Do I still have a chance with this person? Or have they, you know, completely forgotten about me and have quote unquote moved on? So definitely here, especially with the page of the Knight of Swords, I feel like, uh, you know, there needs to be some sort of conversation, right? Maybe the Two of Swords, this person blocked you. They don't want to hear from you. You're afraid of, you're afraid that they are going to reject you. But I kind of feel like as far as what you're going through, Capricorn, you, whatever this is that's on your chest, it's almost like you need to at least attempt to just kind of go in, go for it, lean into it to kind of clear the air and, and, and gain some sort of clarity about this situation. Star card. I feel like you're wishing or somebody's wishing to clear the air. They're, they're wishing for some sort of clarity. <clears throat>
yeah somebody's still kind of reliving reliving a past pain past hurt maybe they keep thinking about and or reminiscing about you know the last time you guys spoke the argument you had what they said to hurt your feelings what you said to hurt their feelings i do feel like the universe there it is there it is i was just going to say the universe is going to create an opportunity for you and this person to speak right not only that but that king of swords laid over the queen of wands i feel like at least for right now that's who you guys are being right somebody's being strategic and calculative and being you know very analytical about this the other one to an extent could be still a little pissed okay a little passionate about it um and i do kind of feel like the attempt here with the knight of swords is for you guys to get back on the same page well like we did not need a stick of dynamite in this reading i do feel like there's still an attraction here there's still there's still a connection here or i think that's the nature of this conversation to figure out is there still a connection here uh, there is a lot of confusion, a lot of unknowns, and I feel like, yeah, a conversation has to take place, but to an extent, you and this person may, may even barely, may barely be on, um, speaking terms, at least for right now. So I have the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, I have the Knight of Swords, I have the Queen of Wands, I have the, the Page of Wands, and the King of Wands. Mm. it's weird because with the ace of wands i feel like there that's what needs clarity like in other words one of you needs clarity you know we still feel the same about each other i still think about you um there th this could have been a f sexual relationship or you you know whomever this person is y'all have history you know from a sexual standpoint and I really do feel like somebody's trying to rekindle that, right? Because I got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands sitting right here with the Page of Wands and Two of Wands. It's like, how can I get me some more of that? But here's the thing, Eight of Wands here, Eight of Wands here. Um, I feel like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough, right? In other words, if you have them blocked or they have you blocked, universe is going to bring y'all right around those blocks and you you know again you guys could bump into each other you could see each other's comments on the friends page you know you could you know um you know be blocked on a telephone but open the social media or vice versa it kind of feels like there's going to be some sort of um breakthrough and it feels like that breakthrough is going to be some sort of communication between you and your person. Somebody's curious as to why you stopped talking. What happened? Why, why, why do we fall out? Oh, somebody's got amnesia, you say? And the reason why you fell out is because somebody was acting like they didn't have time for you. Or you didn't have time for them. And it was probably because you had a lot going on. You know, things were pretty busy. Your plate was pretty full. But they may not understand that. To them, it probably just looked like ghosting or you just left or walked away. I am a spirit having a human experience. I'm here to get closer to love. So to me, that card kind of says, you know, the purpose of being here is, is to love, right? Love thine brother or thine brethren. Um, so it, to me, this kind of feels like some sort of peace offering reconciliation. Hey, can we squash our beef and just, you know, pick it up where we left off. Obstacles or detours in the right direction. Beautiful. Anytime I get that card, it's just like the, you're being led or guided by the universe, which is the star card. And I feel like Capricorn, I feel like maybe this is you um wishing for some sort of reconciliation or recommunication with this person i'm unapologetic about what i deserve and trust that what i focus on will grow yeah that to me is a part of that prayer 
somebody's praying hard that, you know, for some sort of reconciliation. I honor what I want to feel. Okay. Yeah. And, and to me, those are the feelings that are still there or the attraction that's still there or the lust that's still there. Somebody is, um, they can't forget about you, Capricorn. Mm -mm, no, sir. But they're, they're curious about, they're curious about step one and why'd we fall out or stop speaking. And then step two, can we talk, talk again? Like that's Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I just had a reminiscent moment. Anyway, um, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.